It was a pandemic in March 2021. And I saw her uh, when I was trying a dress for my daughter's 15 years old. And I saw like his shoulder was two centimeters up than the other. And it was like this because in February we went to a trip in Mexico and I couldn't see it. So I told my husband, I said, I think that she has a scoliosis because my oldest daughter had it, not in the same way, she was on the back, but we, we know about it. We talked to Dr. Tony and he said, or, uh, um, we need to do an X-ray urgent and send it to me. And send it and he said, you need to come right away because her scoliosis is different to hers. If we don't take care right now, it's gonna get worse because she's growing. And we were here in May 2021 and started doing the treatment. All types of curve reduction, whether it be conservative or even surgical, are always limited by how big the curve is. Meaning that as curves get bigger, we can reduce only percentages of scoliosis cases. So let's say, this to make it easy, say your average reduction is 50%, let's say. So if you get to you know, 20 degree curve, you reduce it 50%, you get to 10. If you get to 40 degrees, we only get to 20. If you get to 80 degrees, we only get to 40. So that's why I, my philosophy is treat curves as soon as you diagnose it. Don't let them get bigger. Don't let curves progress because as they get bigger, you're going to end with the worst result majority of the time, no matter what treatment option that you choose. She is a very um, competitive. She likes to play tennis. She likes to do ballet. It is affecting her normal life regular activities and also she's a child. She likes to play in the backyard and some stuff that she is not able to do it. For Maria, it's different. She has another attitude. You know, when she, she came here, um, she likes to do it. She is not complaining and always is tired because it's a little girl, but it's good for her because she understands that it's, that it's working. Also, it gets important with the kids to understand that it's something good for them. For all young patients, juvenile, adolescent patients, what we're dealing with is growth. And since growth is unpredictable and we don't know how much progression is gonna happen during growth, the treatment at the time of growth and development, what's actually happening at that moment is what's critical. So if we don't have an adolescent patient that's kind of complying and following through with the treatment process and they go through a rapid growth, at that stage, if they're not compliant, there can be progression, even though we did everything good before that. So buy-in and compliance and making sure they understand why they're doing this, what the long-term outlook looks like, and how far, how long we have to do this for is extremely important. Because for some patients, that could be you know, a year and a half. For other patients that we catch in very younger stages, like six or seven years old, it could be five, six years of treatment. So we have to get through this entire growth stage and get out of it with the smallest possible curve for this to be successful. Um, for us, he's been an angel because my daughter, um, a, a year later, around 2022, we found that she has a syrinx and Chiari. And the first doctor that I spoke with was Dr. Tony. And during Maria, during while we were taking care of her, and we were noticing that the curve wasn't reducing the way like her sister's was, and we weren't seeing these great reductions we typically see with juvenile patients, we actually rested and looked for an MRI, and we unfortunately did find a neuromuscular finding. So even during this difficult uh, management of this case, meaning that they were going to stop treatment with this neuromuscular finding and actually resume treatment, we we're still able to maintain reductions and maintain this curve from progressing to significant numbers despite this complication. She got here with 25 degrees, and then end of the week she was 20, 15. That makes me feel that there is a hope to get well, and that's why we believe in this and Dr. Tony, you know, and we, when we come here, we feel like a family with all the stuff. For us, Dr. Tony is an angel, and we are really thankful with him because he is more than a doctor, he is a friend. The girls, they are amazing, and they I like because they are so sensitive also, and, and they come to Maria, and instead of going to a place that you feel, oh, I have to go there because, you know, I have to. No, we like to come here, so 
I believe that is a place that you, you find results, you keep going. We have the hope that she's going to grow up and like my daughter and my niece, get better with scoliosis.